taking another quick look at an actual feather. You can see there's quite a bit of brown in the back of a redhead. So we're going to want those warm colors to be reflected in the vermiculation. Getting ready for vermiculation, I like to mix up a small cup of the material uh, so that I, as I'm vermiculating, I'm not always um, trying to mix and get the same blend. So it gives consistency. And I've combined chroma driftwood and chroma burnt umber and trying to match this tone of the darker aspect of the vermiculation. These tertial feathers are pretty dark, especially near the back of the bird. So I'm using straight burnt umber, chroma burnt umber, and beginning to vermiculate. I'm just using a small series of lines next to each other. And as you begin to work it, look for patterns of zig and zags where the vermiculation begins to form a pattern. Here's a point right here. I'm going to repeat that every time I go by that area. And as I get to the edge of the feather, I'm making the vermiculation dots smaller and fainter to help them kind of blend out on this edge of the feather. Wanted to give you a good look at the completed tertial. This is just one pass with the burned umber. It's another quick view of the completed tertial grouping. Uh, we're going to come back and add feather splits and, and some other detailing. Now I'm going to move up to the uh, feathers of the back and I'm going to go to that slightly lighter mix that I mixed up earlier. This shows the next three feathers completed and I use the gray mix that we put together uh, for the base vermiculation and then I did come back with the burnt umber, chroma burnt umber and just darken some of the tips of these and that helps with the transition from the darker vermiculation moving forward to lighter. This is an updated shot of the vermiculation status. And as you get closer to the neck of the bird, it gets hard to work from this direction. So I flip the bird around so that you can get vermiculation up close. Now we're going to start on the vermiculation of the side pocket and this under the rump area. And you can see I've used the chalk pencil just very faintly sketch some outlines of the small feathers back here and I'm using a number four detail brush to begin to lay in the vermiculation. Same color as on the back. Just a series of rows next to each other. Just a quick shot of that area as it continues to develop. This vermiculation is very fine in these overlapping rump and belly feathers. Similar to what we did on the back, I'm going to take a little uh, darker version of the vermiculation color and come in here and give some guidelines on the quills. I'm using the same mix we used on the back but just a slightly lighter value so a little more driftwood in the mix between the uh, chroma burnt umber and driftwood the same process we used on the back
quick color check with a, a feather from a taxidermy sample. Looks like we're in the ballpark. Here's a completed shot of the first pass vermiculation on the side pocket. I took a little of the light gray body base, added a touch of uh, white gesso to it, and put some feather quill highlights on just to get that before we add splits later. Now that the uh, vermiculation is done, I'm going to use a little um, burnt umber with just a touch of black and begin pulling in some feather splits into the back, the feathers at the back. I try to do this in one stroke and you lift up as you pull back so that it makes the line very narrow in the corner. Quick shot of the back with the splits pulled in. Very quick process. Just a really quick um, comparison to feather for color. Looks good. As you can see, quite a bit of brown in there. Nice warm tones. Now I'm going to the side pocket and using some of the body base color, light gray and pulling in some light splits from these areas um, that are lighter, where there's contrast. You can see I pulled a few in there. Taking some of the carbon black and pulling in feather splits from the rear of the side pocket. Now I'm using some of the vermiculation color, darkened very slightly, to begin to pull in some darker splits.